Alright, what is going on my dudes? We are back here today with Summer of Pain, week number 4. Last week you guys really enjoyed the, you know, my top 10 Mysterio counters list. So today, we're gonna jump in with the same exact thing here, but this time with Darkhawk. Now, I've spent the past, like, hour and a half uh, testing out some fights, right? Um, I got a couple solos of my own. We got two solos on stream and another solo off stream as well. I didn't record it. I'm not going to upload it. I don't think I'll let somebody else upload that one. I'm sure that there'll be a couple people to do it. Um, but with that being said, guys, we're going to jump into uh, number 10 today. And you'll notice three to four revives here. That seems that seems kind of high, right? That's obviously one that you want to avoid. But the 10th spot is actually going to go to anyone. So, as opposed to last week with Mysterio, right? You have 90% reduced damage, and you have the Matador, and you have the Poison, and you, you can't use anyone. This week, with Darkhawk, I'm not recommending that you go in there and, and, and toss in, like, your Thor Jane Foster or anybody that you want, right? However, as opposed to the 90% reduction, what this Darkhawk really has is the ability to spam as many special ones as he wants, and also unblockable special ones however there are ways around getting around that unblockability right if you manipulate his ai which i talk about at the end of my sentinel video that i already uploaded um you can make it so he doesn't throw too many specials in the fight and every five hits on your combo meter you're actually going to get an unblockable blockable charge right so if you get to a 20 combo you can pretty much block the entire thing and there are also ways to dex and parry some of his special one where you only take one or two hits on the block throughout the entire special one so if worst case scenario comes around and you don't have any of these other nine options or any other powerhouse champions that could just push through in one or two revives you can get through Darkhawk with the revives that you get for free and a couple potions from winter soldier all right so don't let this week pass you by i know a lot of people who didn't do, do mysterio because they couldn't get through him so don't let that happen with dark hawk with all that being said we have three main objectives this week for throne breaker players that is a robot villain and mutants now there are a lot of champions that you know uh take one two you know, none, none take three of those objectives into one. So those champions are gonna get the priority on this list, of course. However, there are some champions as well who, uh, you know, don't have any of those objectives, but they still made the top 10 list. But with all that being said, let's jump to number nine. And number nine is an interesting one, and that's gonna be Mr. Sinister. Now, Mr. Sinister, He's interesting because his whole thing is he can block unblockable special attacks, right? And that's all this Darkhawk has, but he doesn't hit too hard. So you're going to be taking a lot of block damage. If you happen to have like a six star rank three Mr. Sinister and you fully boost, yeah, you might get through it in one or two revives. But for the average person, not too many people have Mr. Sinister ranked up. They're going to be going in with like their six star rank one, their five star rank four, and it's probably going to take them two to three revives, but they're going to get two of the objectives done. The mutant objective objective and the villain objective. So, this, so Mr. Sinister is actually a very decent investment if you're looking to, you know, kind of revive or item your way through this fight. He's definitely a good champion to use for that because you kind of kill two birds with one stone with Mr. Sinister, all right? So again, he doesn't hit too hard. He's going to take you a couple of revives, but yeah. Up next, we have one of my favorite robots, Warlock. Now, I tried Warlock first. Um, is it possible to get a solo with Warlock? I'd say it's possible possible i used a six star rank three warlock um i'd say it was possible to get a solo man but i'd say one revive is very 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 doable uh, i was getting him down to like you know we were, our health pools were kind of matching and as the time went on with the block damage and everything you know uh his health would be a little bit higher than mine so i think that like one revive uh on like a five star rank five maybe two revives or so you can get through darkhawk and you get the robot objective as well Okay, so let's move on to number seven now. Number seven, I put in Cosmic Ghost Rider. Now, Cosmic Ghost Rider doesn't fit the villain, robot, or mutant objective. However, he's very good for this fight just because he's an absolute damage powerhouse, and there isn't too much stopping him from fighting this Darkhawk, okay? Now, uh, the way I went about doing it, I got a solo off stream. I just went for the special three first, got the Fury, and then I got the, uh, went for the special two. Then I waited out, you know, the, um... Uh, the shield mode i went for another special two and then one more and that's really it so it was like a two minute fight with cosmic ghost rider um you know 
it's not like your typical classic ghost rider fight because it is dark hawk and you have to be weary of the special one and the unblockable and whatnot but cosmic ghost rider can definitely get through this fight and i know a ton of like new cavalier players have cosmic ghost rider ranked up so if you're just looking for an easy you know quick completion of this week cosmic ghost rider can definitely do it if you're not throne breaker and not looking for these objectives but let's move on here to number six and that's actually going to be human torch now i didn't get a chance to try human torch myself but i saw a couple people in my stream saying that they used human torch and got an easy solo again i don't recommend going with torch because he doesn't fit the villain robot or mutant objectives and also human torch is an interesting one to me because usually with torch when you fight dark hawk you want to like block the entire special one but you can't always do that here unless you have like a godsend you know ai in dark hawk but what you want to do here is kind of manipulate him in a way hold block bait his medium attack and then counter with your light attack so dash back and then light intercept okay and you want to do that build up your combo and then you want to kind of block half of his special one and dex the rest of it you know so you can save those unblockable charges but human torch preferably with the pre-fight should definitely be able to get him down dark hawk you know can't go into a special two phase so you're not going to be able to miss him or counter the miss or anything as opposed to like a usual dark hawk so human torch isn't as cheesy as normal here but you can definitely get a possible solo with human torch against this guy i would imagine um up next, we have Dragon Dude. Now, Dragon Dude, okay, I do think you can get a possible solo. I tried Dragon Dude once, and I got him down to uh, about, like, 70-ish percent health, just, like, keeping him in the corner. The thing about Dragon Dude that's so good is that he kind of gets around the shield mode because he knocks him down, and he goes unblockable, and he can use his special attacks while unblockable. He, can all, he also has the passive power gain as well, so you can kind of use that um, as a way to, like, you know, get an opening and everything. So Dragon Dude is definitely a good option here. He also fits the robot the robot objective as well so that's definitely very useful um if you have a dragon dude right and he's your only robot ranked up well there you go um yeah. I think a possible solo with Dragon Dude is not going to be easy. However, I do think it is possible. So that's why I put it down. I'm sure somebody out there is going to get a Dragon Man solo with a six star rank three. So, you know, if you have like a rank five, five star Dragon Man, probably plan for like one or two revives if that's the way you want to go with. And that's totally fine. You know, you have a whole week to do this fight. Um, so it's one fight, you know, like technically, you know, three objectives, but you have a whole week to get through it. So if you have to build up a couple revives some potions there's nothing wrong with that and dragon man is definitely a good option for that number four we have ultron now ultron's interesting um uh, i only got to test out my ultron as a four star here against uh dark hawk because i wanted to test out his awakened ability now his awakened ability at a high sig it allows you to like regenerate the energy damage right that you take some of it and also he has the evade as well so if you can manipulate dark hawk's ai to not throw out too many special ones and really Really build up your uh, your combo meters so you can get those blockable unblockable charges or unblockable block charges whatever they're called um, you could pretty much take a lot of the special one on the block while also taking advantage of Ultron's assisted evade all right and you can get a lot of that block damage back not even to mention he'll regenerate at 50% and 25% health so Ultron I can't imagine he doesn't get a possible solo here you're not going to get his bleed damage or degen damage as if he was a mutant okay uh, but you are going to get the guaranteed crits i believe it's every five hits and you just want to take a long slow fight here with ultron but you have the double regeneration in his kit as well as from dark hawks you know um beam special one that's going to interact with your sig so a high sig ultron is definitely going to do pretty well here i think um and also he fits two objectives villain and robot so that's pretty good man up next, we have Guillotine 2099. Now, the only reason why she's ahead of, like, Ultron and Dragon Dude uh, on this list is because I've already seen a solo with Guillotine. Metal Sonic Dude already uploaded one, like, right away. Um, so I know for a fact that Guillotine can get the possible solo. Um, I just don't enjoy using Guillotine Man, so I'm not going to try it out myself. I just, I, I've tried so many times to enjoy her, man, but I just can't, I just can't do it. I have her at rank three, and I just never use her, man. But she could definitely do it, and she she fits the robot objective she's not a mutant she's not a villain but if she's your only robot well dude there you go that's all you need she can definitely do it and she's definitely good for the fight up next number two we have sentinel now sentinel comes in at number two because he fits two objectives the robot and the villain and also i did it myself with a five star five star sentinel completely rinsed this guy i have the video uploaded i'm probably going to put it at the end of this video um as well um i just uploaded it like an hour ago anyway not even so um it's very fresh there um sentinel is my favorite robot option for this 
Basically, what you want to do, I talk about it in the video, I, I show the full solo, then I talk about it afterwards. What you want to do is first build up your analysis and then get to uh, your special two and then spam your special twos, but not just that. After your special two, you want to hold block immediately and you want to let Darkhawk dash in at you and then you want to dash back and parry his light attack. Then you want to do like medium light, dash back and do the same thing until you get up to a special two again. Throw the special two, get the incinerates, let him tick down and you're going to have a really good time against Darkhawk. If you happen to be one of the owners of a six star rank three Sentinel, he is going to rinse Darkhawk. A rank two will probably rinse him as well. I, I want to say that I think that a six star rank one Sentinel could get a possible solo against Starcock, but I know for a fact that a five star rank five can. Um, so who knows, man? But Sentinel did really, really, really well for this fight. And then the number one option with the easy, 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 easy solo, man. Like, this was the first one that I got. You already know who it is. It's Magneto. He fits the villain and the mutant thing, and also, um, so Quake is obviously really good for this. Um, if you have a Quake, if you just want to get through it, if you're not looking for objectives, if you're just a Cavalier player, not the Rome Breaker yet, and you just need to get through it and you have a Quake, there's nothing stopping Quake here. Uh, so Quake gets through it really, really quickly. Um, not quickly, really, really easily. Magneto gets through it really, really quickly. You want to get through a special three with like 35 prowess and the fight's pretty much over, guys. Like even if you, like I did it, I ate an entire special one right to the face. And it didn't even matter because you get to the special three and he's at like 10% health. And then you do like two combos and he's dead and he can't auto block you. And it's just an absolute joke, man. So if you have Magneto, you're good to go. You are so good to go. You get the villain and the mutant objective. Um, I can't imagine too many people not like throwing breaker players, not getting all three objectives this round, uh, as opposed to, you know, last time with Mysterio who roadblocked a couple people. Uh, yeah, if you have, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven possible options. You should be able to get, you know, one or two of these objectives pretty simply, man. And also, if you don't, if you don't have any robots ranked up, first of all, you should. It's an important thing to rank up. If you don't have any mutants ranked up, I can't imagine that's possible with the current meta of the game. Same thing with villains. Most of the best champions are villains. And then if you don't have any of them ranked up, man, anyone three to four revives we can even say one to four revives depending you can get through this fight with anybody if you absolutely have to okay but these are the practical options only keep in mind this is not going to be showing the crazy star lord solo this is not going to be talking about the really cool daredevil classic solo where he just evades all the special one because not everybody has a, a high rank to daredevil classic right so um yeah so there's a bunch of options this time. I would say this top 10 list right here, especially the top nine list, maybe minus sinister, this top eight are really, we'll call it quick, top nine, really, really good uh, for, you know, this week. I think they're, they're going to go a long way in helping you get through Darkhawk. I have a feeling that week five is going to be a lot harder, right? <laughs> because it kind of went like Rogue was hard, and the sinister was kind of easy, the Mysterio was really hard, and then Darkhawk was super easy. I have a feeling next week is going to be really hard, but we'll have to see, guys. This one was a lot easier than expected, maybe because they just introduced the objectives at first. But anyway, my dudes, that's going to be it for this little guide video. I do hope you enjoyed it. I do hope it helped. If it did, drop your boy a big old like. Comment who you use for Dark Hawk in the comment section below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next Summer of Pain video coming to you very, very soon. I'll be seeing you around.